All right, Golf News, welcome back. So we're in luck. I haven't been into my Play It Again sports uh, location here in Wesley Chapel in quite a while. Uh, wanted to film a series, probably a two-part series taking uh, place here at Play It Again and uh, with one of my other retail partners over at T&D Golf. Uh, go into their stores and show you guys, showcase some of my favorite clubs of all time. Well, we're still gonna do the two-part episode, but JD here at Play It Again has got us covered, all right? So let's start with woods. Let's start with drivers, fairways, things and whatnot. I look right down in here and instantly one of my all-time favorites, the Nike Sasquatch. So this thing's that got a square head, which is really different. You don't see a lot of that, especially not anymore. This thing will destroy your hearing. This thing sounds god awful. Sounds like a softball bat, but about 100 decibels louder. But if you want straight, forgiving, and distance, this club delivers. And you can find these on the cheap. Look at that, $29.99. This one's a nine and a half degree stiff flex. Graphite shaft, $30. When these things came out back in the day, these were $500 drivers, brand new. And that was a long time ago. But these things flat out perform. So this is one of my favorite drivers. It's on the list and played against sports and Wesley Chapel has one if you're looking. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Now these, are, these aren't just good deals. Today, we're gonna highlight my favorite clubs of all time, okay? If I see a club in the store that meets that criteria, I'm gonna show it to you. If I don't, not gonna be on today's video. Aha, absolute legendary. This is an icon. This is the TaylorMade R7 quad. Okay, this was back when drivers just started going to the larger heads and you, these adjustable weights, you can, re, you can reposition them to kind of favor a draw or a fade bias. This one's 10 and a half degrees. And, oh, really gotta get a camera person. Gotta start getting paid first though, right? <laughs> gotta get monetized before we start hiring folks. <laughs> $49.99. So guys, that's, that's in really good shape. Just some minor cosmetic scratches, nothing that's gonna affect performance. And that's absolutely one of the most forgiving drivers of all time. Change the driver market with the adjustable weight patterns and the launch distance and forgiveness uh, here's another r7 this is the r7 460 this is the same driver but with the complete 460 cc head that, that you see prevalent nowadays in today's market and this one is in pretty good shape 44.99 guys cannot beat that and again the r7 is one of my all-time favorite sailor made products one of my all-time favorite drivers What's not one of my all-time favorites is trying to get these things back in the hole they came out of. All right, so let's see what else we got. The old school, the original Callaway Big Bertha. This one's seen better days. But guys, if you find any of the original Callaway Big Bertha stuff, they're iconic for a reason. Big on forgiveness, big on distance, and nowadays they're low on price, okay? So Big Berthas are absolutely on my all-time favorite club list. Um, especially for the drivers in fairway woods. This here is TaylorMade's Creme de la Creme. Okay, this is the RBZ, the Rocket Balls, all right? White heads, they, they don't hold up well. They scar and scratch a lot, get scuffed up. This one is in phenomenal shape. Uh, I think these set, the RBZs, the Rocket Balls, I think these things came out like 2008, somewhere around there. So this is an old club, but these fairway woods and drivers are still on average, I'd say, probably 10 to 12% longer than most of today's brand new clubs. Um, Marcus the Beast, you've seen him on the channel a lot. He games one of these, and let me tell you, these things are phenomenal. He's got the driver. This is the Tour 3 Wood in the Rocket Ball shaft. $44.99, guys, that's an absolute steal. And you're never gonna see one that's got a crown that, in that good of shape. Okay, that is phenomenal. That cannot be beat. If I had a little extra uh, pocket change right now, I'd be pick, taking that one home with me. But the TaylorMade Rocket Balls is absolutely hands down the best drivers in fairway woods 
even today. Even though they came out a long time ago, those are on my all-time favorite club list. Uh, so anytime you see some of those and they're in good shape, pick them up. The Rocket Balls irons, wasn't quite that big of a fan of, but any of the Rocket Ball stuff is good, and especially their fairway woods and drivers. Those are on my all-time favorites list. Um, I don't see anything else here in the woods that makes the all-time favorite list for me. Um, I do see some good deals and some good clubs, but uh, nothing for the all-time favorites. Look at drivers only here. Uh, got a Ping G430. This is uh, a relatively new club, but it's, I'm telling you, this is moving toward the top of my list. This is one of my all time favorites. These things flat out perform. Uh, this one is in absolute pristine condition. Uh, 4.99. So, pretty good deal there. We got another R7. Told you how good those were. Okay, here's another one of my all-time favorite lists, guys. And this is the entire lineup. The entire lineup of tailor-made M2s from irons, wedges, fairway woods, hybrids, drivers. These are absolute bang for your buck monsters, guys. These things are nothing short of incredible. This one is in really good condition. And 109.99 is the price. And guys, I promise this driver right here, this M2 driver performs just as good as the brand new stuff coming off the rack today. But instead of spending five or six hundred dollars for a brand new driver, you're gonna spend 110, 110 dollars for absolute bang on performance, amazing distance, amazing launch, and tons of forgiveness, guys. Absolutely can't can't beat this. Uh, again, if I had a bigger allowance right now, I would be taking this home with me as well because the M2s are on my all-time favorite list. All right, now we're gonna move into the irons, all right? What's, what are some of my all-time favorite irons? Boom! Taylor made again, the R7s, hard to beat. Hard to beat, guys. If you find a set of those, you can usually pick those up for $200 or less in great condition. They perform well, they're consistent, they're long, they're forgiving. Taylor made R7 irons, some of the best out there. Uh, the Ping G 420s. This is the, the game improvement model from Ping. Okay, these are a few years old. But guys, you cannot kill a Ping. I mean, a little soap and water, these will clean up nice. Big cavity backs, wide soles, very forgiving. Great clubs for beginners or those of you who are struggling at the game, like myself. Okay, and these things are absolute rocket launchers, guys. $299.99 for this set. And that's four through nine iron. So guys, that's a really good deal. These are on my all-time favorite list. It, really any of the Ping G series are gonna make my all-time favorite list. Um, maybe with the exception of the Ping G10s. I'm not a big fan of the Ping G10s, but the, 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 the G20s, the Ping G410s, four, four those are really good. Uh, and those both are on my all-time favorite list. Okay, along with the old, some of the older forged, uh, not, forged some of the older cast pings the ping i2s uh that's currently what's in my bag those are the absolute all-time favorite of mine for irons um let's see what else in there Ooh, callaway these right here the x20s along with the callaway x18s these beautiful irons are absolutely on the top toward the top of my list and favorite clubs of all time long beautiful and forgiving okay nothing special to them deep undercut cavities good perimeter weighting they're good tough clubs they hold up well they'll take a beating and you still get performance and distance and you're getting it at a fraction of the price because nowadays back when these things first came out i believe they retail brand new for like i think 4.99 5.99 this whole set here is 180 bucks so a much better way to go um all right so we got two more sets here oh. so guys these are the cobra amp d's and these are my all-time favorite clubs from cobra golf these irons are super easy to hit they're rocket launcher long but they still give consistent spin so you don't get as many hot flyers 
You're gonna get performance, forgiveness, and distance all in a really good looking package. And these things were super expensive when they came out. But nowadays, if you can find a good quality used set, you can get them for a pretty reasonable deal. This set here is $249.99, and that's an absolute steal. That is, that's four iron through gap wedge. Four iron through gap wedge, $250. Absolutely amazing. Killer deal there. Then from Titleist. Now guys, I'm not a huge Titleist fan. Uh, you, you see the hats on the channel a lot. You see that sort of thing. Titleist makes some of the best products on planet Earth. That being said, they're usually geared at lower handicap, higher skilled players. Uh, Titleist is also really proud of their stuff. And so it co I'm not gonna lie, it costs you an arm and a leg, okay? Uh, but if you can find some of the older Titleist stuff, like these DCI irons, these are pretty forgiving. These are very beginner friendly irons. This set here is three through pitching wedge. And they're, they're real similar to the Ping I-2s. And for that reason, these are at also at the top of my list. So this is the only Titleist club that makes the list is the Titleist DCIs. Uh, for me, um, as far as my all time favorite clubs of all time, the Titleist DCI irons are absolutely on that list. And again, that's the only club from Titleist that's on that list because they perform well and you can find good deals on the U sets and they hold up really well. Um, so that covers everything in the bag except for wedges and putters. Wedges, you usually got over here. Let's see if we get any of my all-time favorite wedges. Mm. Don't really see any today, so stick around. That might be coming in uh, episode two, part two of Golf Noob's all-time favorite golf clubs. Might be covering the wedges at uh, one of our other retail partners. Let's get into putters. This is an oldie but a goodie. If you want to go throw darts on the green, this is the club to do it with. Odyssey blade style, Odyssey white hot ice, the dart. Nice soft insert, easy alignment. This is one of my all time favorites because it's kind of a cross between a mallet and a blade putter. Great performance and these can be found. They're very hard to find, but if you can find them, $49.99. Hard to beat. See anything else? All right, so that about covers it, guys. So there you have it. There's some of my all-time favorite clubs in the irons. Again, you got the Titleist DCIs, you got the Cobra Amp Ds, you got the Ping G4, G20s, the Callaway X20s, uh, the TaylorMade R7s, you know, and then drivers, we hit on the brand new Ping G30 that made my list of all-time favorites, TaylorMade M2s, uh, and don't forget good old team Rocket Balls. All right, guys, like, subscribe, stick around, and remember to come check us out for part two coming soon. Also, we're only 25 subscribers away from our next giveaway, where we're gonna give away one of my all-time favorite set of irons, a set of Ping I-2s. That's right, guys, we're gonna give those away as soon as we hit 500 subscribers, all right? Till next time, Golf Noob, out.